Yes, my people, this is Starboy Whiskey, and you're watching Red TV. Feel the heat. Aya Balogun is probably the guy you guys don't know. <laughs> Because um, I would say it's not really he's not really the opposite of whiskey, but he's just more reserved and like you know more chilled. And whiskey is whiskey. <laughs> Hardest part of being a celebrity for me would be um, being one. <laughs> Cause like it's it's just crazy having to get up every morning and being whiskey and just. You know, being whiskey. That's why every time I try as much as possible to give people 100% of me. So, like, what you see is what you get. Best advice I ever received when I started my career would be don't stop working. Best memories of growing up in Suile is just walking around that place, man. Like, Akirele, Shita, Small London, just walking around. Like, we just used to wake up in the morning and just move, like, not even knowing what we want to do. To <laughs> so like just walking around there, hanging out with my friends, eating food, the Amala and Shita is the number one. Amala is bad in Shita, man. And yeah, my sister owns a restaurant there too, so yeah. <laughs> Can I have you guys closer to me a little bit? Yeah, let's get some of the fans over here a little bit real quick. The security, don't touch my fans, no. Security, let them come through a little bit. I see you, I see you, baby. Song boy number one. Yeah, we out here. And Bamako Mali representing for Africa. Yes. And big shout out to UBA for making this happen today. Yes, sir. For making me see my fans today. Yes, sir. Make some noise! <laughs> Yeah, make some noise for my fans right now. Make some noise, make some noise for this guy. I love everybody, I love everybody. One love, one love, one love. Papa Kompali, one love. It was amazing. I remember I went there dressed up and I left the stage with just my <laughs> pants, I think. <laughs> It was, it was amazing, man. You know, like, uh, to me, there's no greater feeling than performing to my fans, man. Because, like, they're the only reason why I'm here. I've learned um, to be smarter with my money, to save my money. And um, I've learned to invest a lot. And that is what I do. Um, it's just because um, I've been pushing this narrative, Africa to the world, Africa to the world. And um, it's very, very important for people to understand that when I'm saying Africa to the world, I'm not just saying Nigeria to the world because Africa is not just Nigeria. We have South Africa, Kenya, like the whole of Africa. And there's enormous talents in everywhere you go to in this part of Africa. So it was very, very important for me when I started my label to make sure that I had artists from other sides of Africa because like it just wouldn't make sense if I'm saying I'm representing for Africa and all my artists are Nigerians. You know, so um, it's very, very important to, you know, stick together. Africa is one, man. Working with Drake was a blessing, you know, because he, he randomly just hit me up, like, which is weird, like, I'm a kid from Africa making music, so when one of the biggest artists hit you up to make music with you, it's just a blessing to me. So after that happened, I just looked in the mirror and said to myself, the sky is the starting point. It's like, on this album, I tried as much as possible not to, to put a little bit of more of me into it. Um, when I mean more of me, that means like even with the way I named the songs, like Fever, I'd never, I didn't even mention anything that has to do with Fever on the song, but like I know that the feeling that that song is going to give you is Fever, like you know what I mean, like that's, that's the feeling, that's what I'm trying to push. And you know, so for every song on the album, there's a deeper meaning to every song and ev like every name of the song. The videos, there's a deeper meaning to that. My album cover, there's a deeper meaning to that. Even my live shows, like everything is like there's way way more thoughts into this you know so i'm very excited about the next step um it's very important to know what you want as a person um when i say know what you want um that might sound very it sound like a very simple sentence but it, it's very important for you to know what you want as a human being if not you're gonna accept everything 
you know. And um, when I started making music, I knew the kind of brand I wanted to build for myself. I knew the kind of person that I want to be. You know, I know the kind of businessman that I want to become. So it's very important for me that every brand that I associate myself with, um, it has to be mutual, like beneficial, you know, partnership. And that brand must align, like the vision must align with mine. It doesn't even have to be a big brand. It doesn't have to be anything. As long as the vision align, I'll work with you. That's how I work. If I was a whiskey, I would look for whiskey to work with him. Like, that's actually what I think I would do. Whiskey. Lagos. Nigeria. Ice cream. I don't like ice cream. Bogotá. Bogotá. Amala. Red. TV. Yeah. Whiskey. <laughs> yeah, man. You wear whiskey forever. Trust me. My people dead, yeah. My people suffer. Them they pray for blessing. I would want my fans to know something for sure. That my next album is probably gonna be one of my best albums ever. But it's not gonna be my best album. I don't know if you get that. You get that? I said, have it in your head. My next album is definitely gonna be one of my best albums but it's not gonna be my best album.